Hey everybody, I'm Spectral Star, and welcome back to what could be the finale of Ambiol. The ultimate neck-kissing, bum-rushing, vampire, I wear a trench coat, bathrobe-looking thing story that was ever made. By God. And yeah, we gotta... I've got some new toys, and I'm also level 26, which is pretty solid. Now, as you can see, I have this new weapon. Weapon. <laughs> weapon. I have this new weapon. It's a scythe. And it's really cool. And it slices and dices. And it doesn't think twice as... It does, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. Is there actually stuff here? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I can dig it. Was this the door? No, it wasn't. This was not the door. By God, we gotta go in. We're going in the front way today, instead of the back way like we did the last time. I don't know if it's gonna matter. All I know is that I'm a lot more powerful than I was. I had a lot of trouble last time. But this time, it shouldn't be so bad. Hope the dude isn't behind me right now. As you can see, he was a bitch. Oh shit, that priest just came out of nowhere, man. Did you see that? Okay. Jesus, God. I think I got more heals. I thought I could clip him through the wall there. As you can see, I'm gaining health back for my abilities. Uh, it takes a lot more stamina, though. It takes a lot more stamina to get through this. Just, just, a, just a smoogin. You and Chaplin, that dude looks hardcore. As long as they don't send any more special guests, like Conan O'Brien. Don't send Conan O'Brien after me. He would be a totally a special guest. Would make sure that he felt special at least. Until I chopped him up with my scythe. That doesn't sound right, does it? It sounds like I'm, I've got blood, blood hatred <clears throat> for Conan O'Brien, but I don't. I do not. I, I absolutely adore the guy. I just love his hair. It's amazing. I'm sure he gets compliments on his hair every day. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I just can't overstate my opinion of the man. Enough, I guess. Hello, everybody at the hall. We've been here before. You guys remember the first part of the game? Literally, we we came here first, and we fought a scow. Is there any reason to go upstairs? I guess there is. I mean, I honestly don't see anything. Oh shit, that scared the bejesus out of me. I thought something teleported right up behind me and it's gonna wreck my anus. There's plenty of blood here, I'll say that. Where's the blood? Show me the bloody. Not in there. Yeah, there's going to be lots of me doing this, going in and out of detective mode. Because I must detect things. If I don't, there will be no point in coming here. But there has to be a point in coming here. And it's, well, I mean, it, no, there is one, but if there wasn't one, then why would I, you know. Hey. 
There it is. That's it. Insulin. In what? Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. Okay. I thought we were looking for something else, but all right, that's that's cool. Find a hideout to really just any kind of hideout. Oh, any yeah, any kind of hideout. Let's just go into the the hospital. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I went and scoured the globe for experience points. Over 9,000 experience points. <clears throat> Don't ask how I got it. I'd have to kill you. Drink you dry. Something like that. I don't know. And you know me. I love to give out the neck kisses. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I'm French now. Yes. Yes, I'm French. Oh yeah! Dr. Swansea! He's back, by the way. After I took a nap and got super leveled in the hyperbolic time chamber. It's locked. He, uh... He supposedly came back. Everybody was talking about him. So let's say hello to the... Oh, God. He looks like... What is a man? <laughs> now he's badass. He's Dracula. Jonathan, my dear. I can never thank you enough. Thank me? For what? Come now. You know what I mean. I am... Well, I'm just like you. Didn't help your looks any. Uh... Glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. How could I not be happy? You offered me the ultimate freedom. More than I ever could have dreamt of. Hey, about Jeffrey McCollum. Have you news of Jeffrey McCollum? I'm sure both of you would have quite an interesting discussion after recent events. He left the hospital without being treated for the severe beating you gave him. <laughs> We'll meet again soon enough. Does not the prospect of meeting him as a vampire thrill you? The two old enemies reunited post-mortem. Maybe we could even share a glass of... wine. I really don't know if he will accept his... <laughs> Virgin's condition. blood. He has spent his life beheading leeches, you know. How do you feel? How do you feel since you changed? Absolutely fine. Did you know I can determine the health of every patient or nurse just by looking at him. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Have you taken a life already? Have you taken a life yet, Edgar? Don't you think that's a private matter? I would not ask you such an indiscreet question. Do you feel the hunger? Do you feel the hunger? Yes. It's very peculiar. Not like mortal hunger at all. It's like I'm never sated. Fortunately, blood is no rare commodity at Pembroke. Have you a plan? What will you do now that you are immortal? Experiment, my dear colleague. I have an eternity to make scientific progress. I could be the only scientist able to undertake extreme experiments upon himself. What kind of experiment? What kind of experiments? Who knows? Nervous shock? Brain damage? Pain and recovery. There's almost no limit to what my body can now endure. I could be the next Henry Head. Okay. Uh, have you learned nothing? My God, Edgar. Did you learn nothing from your forays into folly? I have, I swear. No more experiments on mortals. See? I said mortals. <laughs> How quickly the mind adapts. Okay. Will you administrate Pembroke? Will you continue as Pembroke's administrator? Of course. I can help more than ever. And since I'm already dead, I can't get sick. What about Prewin? Are you not afraid Prewin will find you? Next time, they will do more than abduct and torture you. I remain a man of peace. If things were to go awry, I would flee rather than slice them up as you would, my friend. Okay. Have you seen Elizabeth? Have you seen Elizabeth? Has she passed this way since you returned? No. And I'm terrified to see her again. I really am, Jonathan. She could very well tear me to pieces for what I did. Yes, she could. She's pretty Goodbye, pissed. Edgar. I'm certain we'll meet again. Well, it says he's healthy, but he's dead. He's dead. 
Alrighty then. Let's head to the hideout. Right over here. Concoctor. Antidote. Hey. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess I need a different hideout. I don't know why that was. I mean, that's okay. There's one right here, but you guys like my scythe? I like it. I think it's cool. I have to kick this dude's ass. And there we go. That's how you kick some ass. I'm literally not unstoppable, but I mean, I'm no bitch. Okay. I oh. Woohoo! Uh, I could do that, but nah. Seriously. Uh, what have I got to do? Like, I thought we were cool here. I have a hideout. <clears throat> Did I not? Well, I guess I could level something up real quick. Not that. <clears throat> well, I guess I can't level up anything. I don't really want that. Okay, fine, just sleep. I guess. I don't I don't freaking know. <clears throat> Who okay, he's dead. Cool, I guess. I might have fucked up, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Okay. Why won't you let me do this? Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, we did it. Seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet. Okay. Cut out all the crap I did before that. Shit. I, okay. Uh. Nah. Now I gotta just okay. This might not be the last part. <laughs> okay. Now that we're clear of all that horse shenanigans. Dude, I just want to put a marker. All I want to do. I got to erase markers. Okay, no wonder. Was there only one marker? Alright, you know what? I don't need a marker. I don't know why I'm needing a marker for that. That is so silly. I'm sorry, everybody. I, my brain is... It's absolute touch. 
sticks. Poopy sticks. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think there's a way through here either. Reach the hive. Now it says reach the hive. What? What the hell does that mean? I have the antidote and I'm ready to stop Harriet Jones or whatever the tainted blood of Elizabeth has changed her into. As a vampire and a doctor, I am London's last chance. I am ready to embrace the role. My role in this tragic play. God, he's a little bit dramatic, isn't he? Okay, well, in order to do that... <clears throat> Goodbye, my friends. I will save this world. For you and for everybody. Yes, you all matter, I promise. We will not forget about you in the coming months. For you are loved and cared for. Yes. Yes, you are. Now, there's a big blistery werewolf guy down here. I'm still calling them werewolves. I really don't see why not. You piece of... Now, there is a parry feature with this uh, axe, but it's either hit or miss for me, you know? I kind of suck. What can you do? <clears throat> okay, so now we just run down here. We must find this place. This magical place. Where things are not cool. We should find some rats. I don't know where they are. Where are the rats? I hear there's some big rats in these parts. There's one right there. And there's another one. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen any new faces, man. Yeah, but he is, isn't it? Okay. Alright, now we just hop, skip, and a jump away. Want no evil shit in here? Nothing trying to kill me? What's going on with this game? There we go. Yeah, I'm good. Fuck with that. Ah, shit. I do need some blood. Okay. You mother trucker. Jesus. I tried to get blood and I ended up getting screwed up more just trying to get blood. That is life for me. I could see myself at the Red Cross trying to give blood and they just bleed me. Dry. Like a snack. What's up? Okay, nothing. They put a big staircase here and they expect me not to try to go through, to go up it. They're crazy. 
Is it in here? No. I think this is it. We're gonna have them long loading screens because I'm prepared. Oh god. It was so quick this time. Damn it. <clears throat> Playing with my heart. Oh, so you just go into the sewers. Okay, so it's just one area. You just got to find it. Well, I'm ready for the sewers again. I love the sewers in this game. I don't know what it is about tight places, but I really like being in them. And I know that didn't sound right. I cannot enter. But, I'm not talking about those tight places. I'm talking about tight places in general. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up now, because I'm a weirdo. I'm a sick freak. Who needs to learn to turn his insolent tongue off. Whatever they they say. Look at this. Look at this lighting. I love this. It's creepy. I need rats. I really do. I could use a rat. A delicious rat. A blood bag. Some form of blood. They got blood totems here. Aha! Rats. It's time to get depressed while I eat rats. What am I doing? I have this thirst for blood. Yeah, we know about it. This I might have should have changed my blood suckling. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, I get instant more instant health, you know? It's not like a regen. So I guess it's better, and I got the scythe, but it doesn't give a crazy amount of blood, and you gotta get close too. I mean, there's there's drawbacks with everything, but where the hell are we going? A schnecklish. Common trigger, some screws. Hey, wanna get screwed? Oh, hey. So this was just some kind of cash for shit. You know what? I, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I need I need stuff anyway. Let's hippity hoppity on down into this property. I think we want to go this way. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Yes. Are we going the right way? I heard something groan. I think we might be going the right way. There might have been something down there. Once upon a time, once upon a by, as Stephen King would say. In Midworld, the Dark Tower series. If you haven't read those books, I highly recommend reading those books. The first one isn't the greatest book ever written, but it gets way better after the first one. Oh my god. Every book just seems to get better. Damn it! I'm sure this is not the right way. Hopefully this loading screen will not take too long. Hurt for a nerd. Because this can't be... We're trying to get into the sewers. Somewhere in the sewers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
I should have went the other way at the crossroads. I'm leaving all this in. This is going to be a long ass episode. I dare not care. I have words to say and things to speak of. And you will listen or you will go watch somebody else who has done a better let's play of this. Am I right? I'm right. I'm sure they're out there just waiting for your clicks. And you shouldn't give them to them because that would be betraying me. Betraying me horribly bad and I would not feel good. I would feel sad. You don't want me to feel sad, do you? I grew this luxuriant neck beard just for you. <laughs> just for you! It wasn't laziness. I promise. It wasn't like I got up and they said, Oh man, the COVID-19 killed school for two weeks. And I decided not to shave because all I have to do is go to work now. <laughs> it totally wasn't that, I promise. Hey, what's this up here real fast? Let's just... Oh my god, for real? That can't be... That can't be the way to go. Watch that be the way to go. Oh wait, it can't be because... It just leads up to there, doesn't it? This is where we want to go. Over to here. Mm-hmm. Feeling sexy now. At least I hope this is where we want to go. Boy, I hope so. Last minute money in Greece. This, uh, they're getting a little creepy. I'm getting a little creeped out here. I feel like we're going back to Sean Hampton's place. By God, Willie. Maybe we're getting close. Okay. This place has been ransacked. Ugh. You call it ransacked, I call it foobard. They've all been slaughtered. Pre one. No, not their style. Why well, wouldn't it be their style? Where has Harriet gone? Harriet! She must have left a trail I could follow. Oh yeah, she she left a trail, all right. Blood and guts strewn everywhere. I think she killed killed them all. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Aha! Succulent rat blood! Thirst for blood. Man, don't look down upon the rat blood, okay? Hmm. Where is this hooker? Hooker Jones. <laughs> oh. Well, I found a blood trail. I'm going to follow it. And we might as well. Where else can we go? Blood trail. Here's a blood trail. We already saw this damn shit. We came, came on through here. We already saw this shit. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Oh, Harriet. Excuse me. This Where is old Bridget? Damn. If I'd come earlier, they would still be alive. Yeah, well, you can't really. You can't be too sure of that. Not yet, anyways. Did I hear rats? Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. Why did you choose me? Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern scientific answer to this ancient mystical threat. Modern answer? What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Ancient threat. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. Okay. I don't know what that means, but all right. <clears throat> your true appearance. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. You are made of blood. Blood? You are made of blood? Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. What? But who are you really? But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Okay. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. This is weird. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. Okay. What is the blood of hate? What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. What is a disaster? Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star. For they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. Okay. Who is the queen? And who is this queen? She is the red goddess. The queen of blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war. Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this. She is a vengeful mother. <sighs> it's gonna be a pain in the ass, huh? A disaster is just an accident. So the disaster is some sort of accident. 
a disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. Okay. I only want to stop this epidemic. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge, my champion, Bittersweet. Okay. What will happen then? What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. Will it be over then? Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature, Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke. For you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. I'm not your champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. You still caused me to kill my sister. So fuck you. Hmm, maybe. Well, look at this. A real Dark Souls boss fight coming up here. Is this a way out? Okay. I don't know if that's where I want to go. Maybe it is. Oh, this is where I want to go. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. Be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! You shall never dry heave. My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Party's over, bitch. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Jesus. 
Jeez. This is going to be tougher than I thought. Give me enough blood, that's for sure. Jeez, as soon as I hit her, man. <laughs> okay, I schmuffocated. <laughs> okay. What? What'd she say? She talking trash? She talking trash? <clears throat> I'm about to try this the old fashioned way. I was a good mother. Jeez, I hate that shit. damage Some meaty damage now. I was a good Okay. Dipped all right. What? This anchor I feel. Is it rough? I think it is. Oh, how infinitely, how intensely, how irredeemably are you all going to suffer now? Oh, great. Some stands back. Blood, feed me, give me their lives. Okay. Uh, oh shit, wow. Okay. Her. 
Ow. Okay, don't take too many chances. Shit, now she's got sickles. Abundant the heart. This is my body. Okay, what's this? Gotcha! Oh, come on, yes! Fuck yeah. First try. <laughs> well. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all. For you are our every root and leaf. That is what that bitch has. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen. And smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. I have questions. So it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget. What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. Okay. Alakazam. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. Mm. I have no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, 
But I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Akon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. Aww. I love you too, old pretty. I love you. You're my friend, though. For, till the end, though. London has been cleansed. What the heck? This catastrophe came about when an ancient Why did my... crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now. My craving for blood remains. Red like hate. Red like hunger. Red as life. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. I love how I'm driving. That was so weird. Like the audio went from my headphones to my speakers. I don't know if anybody else has had that problem, but now it's back to my headphones again. Where the hell am I? Is this Dracula's castle? That would be so cool if it was actually like somewhere in Romania. <laughs> I love my car, man. Hot fucking rod. Look at the gold fucking shit on the back. This must be a Reed estate. Staple. <clears throat> well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Okay. Find out why Elizabeth's blood creates disasters. I want to check out this hot car, though, man. Look at this bitch. Where's my driver's license? Where's my license plate? It's on the front, right? There's no license plate. Nobody committed crimes in cars yet back then. Look at that fucking st that steering wheel. Jesus. What a car. It's got two gas tanks. Jeez. I'm just admiring that car, man. It's just really cool. Anyways, we're at this very cool, well-lit castle in the sunlight. This makes no sense. Why are we out in the daylight? This is not a good idea. Do we have a coffin in here? Can I hide in the trunk? Okay, we're fucked. Alright, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, and we're back. Let's finish this game. It took me a while to get back. I had to go run some errands. It's daylight, man. I don't know if I should be talking to you for too long. Could get roastified. Hello. Beautiful morning. Looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from when she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. Okay. What was the point? About the Red Queen. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. Okay. What are you to her? And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way. But you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. Okay. It's kind of like a uncle's nephew's roommate type deal. What does she seek? What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. 
In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Hmm. Sounds like a sequel. About the disaster. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? All Ickers are females. I noticed that all the Icors were female. As if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman. As was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling world. It is true. Icors are contagious. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. Okay. This is not over. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. Tis unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. Okay, uh, what will happen to Ascalon? What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? With your progeny at its head, it would not be long before this Econ Assembly catches a second wind. To discreetly control its plans is your decision to make. Okay. About the Guard of Prewin. What will become of the Vampire Hunters? In their leader, you now have a spy behind enemy lines. By guiding your progeny, you may yet protect your immortal friends for some time to come. If you dare. Okay. What about... What of the Brotherhood? What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new Primate. But I'm certain the current Primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. Hmm. I'm here to see Elizabeth. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. Hmm. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest one. This is probably true. About your, oh my God, about William, blah, blah, about about William Marshall's blood. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawn of this generation. Okay. Uh, is William Marshall here? Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now, too? Have I not already answered that question? Oh, he has. Oh my god. Billy's here. <laughs> William Marshall is here. His blood was not tainted. His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. I would have become like Harriet. A serum made of King Arthur's blood? When he fought me, 
Jeffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land what? in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your project. What? Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. What? What? <laughs> Who are your sons? I can't believe that King Arthur was a vampire in this world. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Who are your sons? Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son. As is William Marshall. Okay. Are we just puppets? So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Okay. Doesn't mean we're not puppets, though. How many have you created? This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. <laughs> but yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you should meet one night. Who is it? Which one is it? Speak clearly then. Speak clearly then. And answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. <laughs> Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. Okay. See you, Pops. I'll look around. Wait a second. This looks like a way in. What was that? Where was I going before? Can I go in the water? I cannot. Will the sun hurt me now? Yeah, let's try the gate. It's locked. Of course it is. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Perhaps. It's not this way, though. I, I know which way to go, but... I just want to look around. This is a cool area. Unlike anything we've seen in this game, so... Can I alakazam up there? No, I can't alakazam. No, no alakazamming for me today. Okay. Let's just do what we came here to do. So, William Marshall's in here. That's what I'm assuming. I could be wrong. What? Uh... Okay. God, this is Dracula-like. I, I love it. I love it. So you're playing the shit out of that flute. Constantly. A clarinet. It's more like a clarinet, isn't it? I don't know. It could be anything. It's gonna take us forever to get in here. What? Mary Englewood, born Whitaker, 1534 to 1578. Wait, what does it say? You're about to lie the remains. Okay. Robin Englewood, 1530 to 1578. Who are these people? Are they important? I mean, I would assume they are. This is so odd. Wonder who the. Wonder who they are.
Can I open the gate from this side? I can eat. I guess that wouldn't make much sense, but whatever. I'm gonna explore every inch of this friggin' place, man. I'm gonna take my sweet time. This game... was a decent length. I thought it would be longer. I mean, I did not do the side quests and the let's play. I did them in behind the scenes so I could, you know, level up and gain enough experience. But yeah, I didn't go through a lot of them. I mean, I, I didn't go through them on screen because that would just take way too long. And Honestly, I just wanted to get the, the main story of this. Look at this place, man. How much can you fucking search around here? What the hell? Okay, so I found a way in. This is crazy. Let's try this door. I know it's locked, but I cannot enter. The lady of the manor isn't expecting visitors. Apparently not. Okay, this is where we started at. Okay. Well, sort of. We got a big cross here. I'm surprised the sun hasn't reduced me to ash. Okay, all right. Let's let's go through the. Actually, anything interesting over here? No. Okay. I mean, it's all interesting to me, but I'm just saying that I guess we need to get this rigmarole going here. Shazuski, you can get in here without being a vampire. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. You probably do, handsome. She must be here somewhere. Yes, I called him handsome. I don't care. I cannot enter. Old letter, London 4th, August 1865. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your recent letter and all the good news it contained. I cannot wait to finally meet you when you arrive in London. The garden is beautiful under the summer sky. Although I noted your wish to avoid heat and direct sunlight because of your frail health, you're welcome any day. We'll discuss this wonderful idea of yours concerning the foundations of an orphanage for young ladies inspired by the French Maison Royale de Saint Louis, sadly closed when the French people chose. My God, I can't even write those words down. To cut their king's head off. Such a place. Destined to provide a good education to gifted but poor orphan girls. Will surely excite my friends here in the city. You can count on me and my influence to help make your project a huge success. Yours ever sincerely, Countess Ale Alexandra Somerset. That, that's pretty cool. Alright. I do like that we get to exp what? Portrait of Dr. Jonathan Reed by Elizabeth Ashbury, 1918. Elizabeth, my love, you allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flattered. As you should be. Ashbury Castle, 21st September, 1795. Dear Mr. McAllister, as the new legal owner of the Ashbury Estate, I quick I, I intend to quickly engage in the overdue maintenance and repairs of the walls and the crypt of the castle. Among the few architects I invited to send forth proposals, I was most impressed by your respectful approach concerning renovations on historical buildings and their preservation. I would be glad to meet you at your convenience. My only request would be to break to you directly and not your assistance. Any evening of next month would be agreeable. You may come to the castle, or I can meet you at your office, as you prefer. If you agree to come to the castle, I could show you what kind of repairs and modifications I have in mind concerning the crypt, which may need considerable work and reconstruction. Very sincerely, Lady Ashbury. Like most castles, this one has a crypt, and it holds something special inside. Yeah, probably something very old. Portrait of Elizabeth Blackwood by Johannes Vermeer, 1866. I can't look at these other paintings. Okay. This castle is falling apart. 
It looks pretty decent compared to other castles, though. I would guess. Picture of Lady Ashbury in Paris, 1888. Boy, that's kind of scary. She looks soulless, her eyes. This place is super cool, though. I love this shit. Like... Like, everything's gonna be weathered damage soon, but... Oh, cool. That is old school. I love it. Okay, I'll droop down. That sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. Mm -hmm. She was here. And recently. I can smell her! I can smell her fanny! Okay. <laughs> Inverness, 18th, April 1907. Dear Lady Ashbury, this was typed. I write to confirm that my men will be at your castle next Monday to begin the new work on the crypt and its access. The plans have been approved, and I'll personally be on site to supervise the installation of the locks and security measures you have requested. I also can assure you that my men have been briefed about never entering the crypt itself or the second floor of the castle. I must say I'm proud to continue and enhance the work started by my great-grandfather when employed by your ancestor in 1795. Very sincerely, Angus McAllister. Yeah, her ancestor. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of this fucking fireplace. This is a bond fireplace. What the hell? What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. Well, that's weird. A mechanism. Here's another one. Here's another switch. I should keep looking. Uh huh. Oh hey, Vincent Van Gogh, Lady Ashbury, eighteen eighty-five. That is. Fucking awesome. Dunbarrow Sanitar Sanatorium, Scotland 27th, July 1909. Dear Lady Ashbury, I thank you for your previous letters and ardent discussions about vampire folklore. It's now obvious we share an opinion concerning scientific and modern approach toward the need for blood and the care of addiction. I must confess, I admire your charitable attitude when I met you at Dunbarrow Sanatorium. And I'm still impressed by your kindness when talking with humble and poor patients. I was delighted to read about the position of administrator at the Pembroke Hospital you financed since its founding. After a few days of deliberation, I'm happy to accept your offer. <laughs> it will be, for me, an occasion to get back to the busy streets of London after years of public service in the beautiful but far quieter Scotland. I will be glad to meet you there and discuss with your with you further about immortality, its advantages and disadvantages, and how to enhance your condition. I look forward to our next meeting. Yours sincerely, Dr. Edgar Swansea. And that's where it began for Edgar Swansea. Portrait of Elizabeth and Jacob Blackwood in Versailles, 1788. Damn, he's he's pale. Jacob Blackwood. Yeah. It's nobody important, apparently. I'm not going to open that door yet. Dude, this is totally Resident Evil Mansion. Why is there rats here? This painting. What painting? What, the rat painting? Oh, I see it now. I can't believe I'm doing this. Give me another rat. Uh, I guess I need to be well fed here. Thirst for blood. 
There you little shit. Alright. This is despicable. Infinite supply of rats. Am I gonna be fighting somebody soon? This place is insane. Like, why is there so much of it? Okay, look at that. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. It's probably not the only thing, but that is the that is the fucking red queen right there. Inverness, 2nd February 1807. Dear Miss Ashbury, when last we communicated, you asked for the conveyance of a large coffin from Temple Church, London, to the crypt of the Ashbury Castle in Scotland. I am happy to report your request has been finally been validated. My drivers have been informed of that for security reasons. Guards must always protect the coffin. You have hired these individuals who will be waiting for us in London. They also have been informed that under no circumstance should the carriage try to pass a river by boat, but always by road and bridges. For the precious wood and relics inside the coffin cannot be exposed to humidity and moisture. You'll find a detailed quote for the entire operation attached to this letter. We are ready to go to London as soon as payment is received in full. Very respectfully, Samuel Lewis, Independent Contractor. Could you imagine transporting a coffin and like it just cracking open one night and you finding a dead guy in there a vampire I mean I would assume a dead guy would be kind of normal if you were transporting a coffin but yeah oh, hey oh ha must be another door over this side yes Cool. We're unlocking doors. We're opening passageways. Why are there rats here and why do I need blood? Wait. Why? Armor? Cool. If William Marshall, the esteemed knight, was to live anywhere, I would assume it would be here. Okay, so what do I need to find? A moon and a sword. Okay, well let's see what those other buttons were. There's gotta be more to it than just that. That's a shield. Aha! Uh -huh. Voila. Ooh. Ho ho ho. Okay, guys, I'm gonna cut a little break right here and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Alright, guys, listen. Oh, hey. There's a flower over here. I don't know what I did, but apparently I, I, I solved a puzzle without even trying or without even knowing about it, but. There are supposedly, okay, now getting on track, there are supposedly like four endings to this game. There's two bad ones and two good ones. And the worst of the good ones is supposedly uh, very noticeable. And the other one, I don't really know. I mean, we'll see, right? We'll see if I got the good ending. You guys can tell me in the comments. I'm pretty sure without taking any life, I did good. I mean, I don't look evil. I mean, I'm not look a little messed up and a little creepy, but I don't look pure evil. The, the look of your face determines how much of a douchebag you've been. <laughs> or an evil guy. Alright, so let's go ahead and go down here and see if we can find Lady Ashbury. Okay. Ancient Tome. Oh my god. 12-17. An angel came to me. Blessed be to God, Michael appeared to me last night in all his glory. Damn, the archangel, huh? Shaped in glorious blood, to grant me eternal life at the dusk of my life. The apparition was so sublime and terrible that I could not help but lower my head and close my eyes. Struck by the divine light, I fell to the ground only to awake the next night. 
You will serve me as I served your kings, said the angel before striking me with all his power. You will protect this land through the eons to come. For all who knew me, I should hi now hide and rest, retreat, for, the, for they consider me dead. Soon I will leave the company of men to serve my purpose. Blessed be God. 1350. Michael appeared to me last night in my retreat under Temple Church and asked me to prepare for battle. The land must be saved. Death is everywhere. The Black Death, an epidemic sent by the devil himself to punish mortals all over the world. Black Plague, probably. My arm is strong. In the name of God, I shall smite the enemies of mankind. England shall prevail. 1569. It is almost 20 years since my fight started against the devil, and the end is uncertain. From time to time, the plague, the Black Death, appears in a village, in a town, and each time the vicious minions of hell approach to get their share of the mortal suffering. Vampires. Dreadful creatures. I won't let this land collapse until my last breath. I'll serve and protect England. 1578. Tonight in the small village of Hodston... I met the most delicate soul I've seen for a long time. She was singing for the dead, singing for those she knew and loved, those killed by a new plague outbreak, without fearing for her own life. Her voice moved me so I chose to let her live, uh, offered her eternal life as a reward for her virtue and most pious attitude. Her name is Elizabeth Inglewood. I'm not alone anymore. Together... We shall praise God in all his glory for the eons to come. 1618. My heart is breaking. My soul is bleeding. Tonight, my dear Elizabeth left me. I have taught her all I knew, all she needed to know. Now, she must walk her own path through the ages. This is our wish, and I will respect it. Elizabeth Inglewood, my sweet daughter, is gone. She now wants to be known as Elizabeth Blackwood. I made her a promise. If she ever comes back to Hodston, she will find me there, managing the bull inn her parents owned before dying. William Marshall shall disappear for a few times, too, now that the Black Death is no more. Until we meet again, I shall be known as William Thorne, waiting for my angel to come back. Sixteen... What? I didn't do that. I did not press start. Fucking... Xbox controller. Okay. Sixteen sixty-five. The devil is at work again. The great plague is back, reaping thousands of lives in London. I must sell the bull in and go there. Once more, William Marshall shall protect the land. 1666. What have I done? I let the devil infect me. God forgive me. The terrifying creature I, was, I had to defeat was a demon straight from hell, an abomination of the flesh, a walking apocalypse. I had to trap the dreadful creature in St. Paul's Church and set the building on fire. Without the advice of Michael, I don't know if I could have defeated my enemy. The flames cleanse the city of the demon's presence, and but half of London is burnt down. Ever since, I have dreamt of a red flood, of slaughter and rage. It's like the disaster had tainted my blood, my very soul. For the first time in centuries, I am afraid I shall crawl back to my retreat and pray to God for mercy for my infected soul. 1667. Elizabeth came to me. She said she felt my pain and rushed to save me. My poor daughter, blinded by rage, intoxicated by the blood of hate. I bit her. She fled. Shocked by my betray by betrayal, I laughed and cried as she cursed me. God, have I betrayed you? Have you abandoned me? 1712. My prayers have been heard. I have found the strength to resist the need for blood, the never-ending hunger. My poor Elizabeth, will you ever forgive me? I've heard you now kill and take pleasure in bloodbath. With this new progeny of yours, you're a victim in all this. What have I done? I swear I will find a way to make amends for what I have done to you. I swear I shall only rest once I know how to appease the blood of hate. <clears throat> Good God. 1785. The Brotherhood of the St. Paul's Stole finally agreed to meet me in London. They proposed, we, uh, proposed to meet inside the new Cathedral of St. Paul. I like the wit and solemnity of these men. What a symbol to choose the place where I defeated this disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agreed to their proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church and under the eye of God, they respectfully listened to me. They acknowledged my victory against the evil creature, the disastro, the eater of stars. 
who only wished to spread death and pestilence all around her. Since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they heard my request, my burning desire to stop the blood of hate. The primate promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name, the Tear of Angels. According to him, this ancient artifact could heal anything, cleanse any blackened soul, and purify my blood. Blessed be the Lord. It took me more than a couple and then a hundred years to find a cure from the blood of hate but i may have finally found it soon the rage shall end soon okay you did it again maybe it's a timeout thing or something soon i may repair the wrong i did and cleanse my failures now all i need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of the king to find such rare ingredients is not what worries me the most. For time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But if that's the price to pay to cleanse my soul and correct my mistakes, I'm ready to endure the excruciating pain. 1786. I finally managed to gather all the ingredients needed to concoct the tear of angels. Blood of the purest heart for the fortitude. Blood of a king for courage garlic essence for the painful cleansing after months of impatience almost made mad by the hunger i waited again and again until finally elizabeth cautiously came to me as promised i had chained myself to be sure i would not attack her again i did not recognize my sweet daughter at first for she was only she was only she only was lady blackwood now the dreadful mistress of the dark who took delight in slaughter and carnage in france she smirked as I apologized and cried for what I had infl inflicted her, to her. She shouted at me when I tried to explain her th to her that my bite had infected her, had given her the blood of hate, now burning in her veins and her soul. I told her I had found a cure and that I had managed to create one dose of antidote. I gave it to her to give her back her previous peaceful life. In exchange, I only asked her to take care of me, for I intended to be locked down in my tomb chained if necessary to impeach me from feeding on any mortal or immortal she reluctantly took the tear of angels and left i hope to see her again cured and at ease i bet it hurt like hell with all that garlic yeah 1794 she came back to me finally cured healthy joyful my elizabeth she told me she had drunk the antidote about a year ago in france after witnessing and taking part in the massacre of an entire orphanage caused by the blood of hate that's when the Lady Blackwood died, she said. She promised she would take care of me now. That's all I ask, as I repent for all the murdered souls caused by my negligence of more than a hundred years. 1795. My dearest daughter came back last week to tell me the good news. She has recently bought a castle in Scotland. She will soon finance the renovation of the castle crypt to provide me a new retreat. Far from temptation... Far from the noisy, crowded cities, I can't wait to embrace the solitude. Find the peace I need to refrain, refrain from killing. God, please help me. Give me the strength to resist the urges during the journey from London to my new domain. Before I leave, I should give a copy of these memoirs to the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. Without the most shameful and sensible information, of course. Soon I shall leave London to pursue my penance. There... I shall find peace at last with the support of my resuscitated Elizabeth. <coughs> Good God. Give me a second. Give me a second. That was like... Ooh, I drenched myself. I'm all wet now. So, that was like reading like a Fallout log. <laughs> Ever seen my Fallout Let's Plays? Oh my God, the reading is intense. One of the main reasons I don't do uh, Fallout Let's Plays anymore. Holy crap. They're good games. The reading is insane. So, Lady Ashbury was once known as Lady Blackwood. Or Lady Inglewood or something like that. Other names. And the bite that she took from William Marshall was like, it turned her evil. And all that or something. And I don't know. Anyways, he found a cure, gave it to her. Boom, here we are. Lady Ashbury. 
pure as the driven snow. Except she might have a problem being some sort of healthy carrier. And have I fooked myself? I feel like I fooked myself. Oh my god. Okay. Shoo. Don't go off to the side again. You never know. You might not come back from it. My, th my voice is like gone now. That's okay. That's okay though. Let's go. Drop your sword, father. You have nothing to be afraid of. There he is. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. What? I know, father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Uh... You gonna kill me? Is this... Really, him. Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke. Servant of five mortal kings. Former regent and savior of England. Wow. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And... You called him father. For he gave me eternal life. And much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. This is true. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We <clears> still <throat> have a few minutes left. <laughs> where are we? Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury Estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. Is this place your retreat? Is this your retreat? Something of a secret place. It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became unwell. That was a long time ago. Someone may find you. Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. That's good. Why flee here? Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes. To end it, once and for all. Will you go back to London? Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? Charlotte is a strong, independent woman who's about to come into money. <laughs> I took care of everything. Now it's time for her to shape her future. London is saved. I have destroyed the disaster. This creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. Yes. You did well, Jonathan. You truly saved the city. Yes, we did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together, Elizabeth. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this. Through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. Couldn't get rid of all of it, I guess, with the... the tear of angels. <coughs> Excuse me. Why hide him here? Why are you hiding William Marshall here? How could I not take care of him? He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. Have you got the antidote? He gave you the antidote? Yes. 
And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was. And still is. Yeah, it's kind of funny that Elizabeth wasn't even part of the, the Ascalon Club. And they practically worshipped William Marshall. And here she is, practically his daughter. And she wasn't allowed in there. Because being a woman and all stupid crazy like if they knew they would eat their hats what do you do for him what do you do for him i visit him as often as possible i paint the landscapes he will never see again i feed him with my blood you feed him you barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying yet you give him your blood after he saved me from the blood rage I swore I would never kill to feed. He said the same. Hmm. Is he dangerous? Is he dangerous? What do you think? He is a thirsty Ekon who has not fed in centuries. An elder vampire driven by an urge to kill and spread the blood of hate. No redemption? No <clears throat> redemption then. And yet he thinks he has been offered immortality by the angels to protect the feeble and to smite the unholy. That must be quite the conundrum. Can he communicate? Can he communicate? Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved and raised me. But, you know, the malice never fully leaves his eyes. It's sad. We could cure him. We could cure him. It's too late. The blood of hate has run for too long. The antidote would not work on him. I tried. Believe me, I tried. Wow, you got all that stuff, huh? Marshall infected you. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate, but my father's antidote cured me. Who are you really? Who are you really? How could I answer that? I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you, I am Elizabeth Ashbury. And that's all I wish to be. I need to know more. I need to know more. I want to know who you really are. Where you were born. Where you lived. I was born Elizabeth Samantha Mary Englewood in 1551 in Hertfordshire. My parents owned a pub in Hoddesdon. Are you satisfied? Damn, I'm, I'm an asshole. How did we meet William Marshall? Or how did you meet William Marshall? How did you meet William Marshall? He was an Ekon for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death by making me his progeny. Why did he choose you? Why did he choose you? You should ask him that. Did you ever blame him? Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. He is my father. He raised me. He taught me how to behave. Okay. What about us? What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse. Aww. Forgetting the danger as you turned your back, like the newborn fool you were. <laughs> you should have told me. You should have told me. 
No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. No, I cannot. You chose to follow Ascalon's orders. You unleashed an immortal Aloysius Dawson into this already fragile and suffering city. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Boy. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. <laughs> what is it you want then? Who wants to bite me? <coughs> okay, about the tears of angels. I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were. I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. How did you find such relics? King Richard and Bodicea? How did you find such relics? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to learn the formula. If I recall, it belonged to an ancient brotherhood. The Order of St. Paul, I believe. Did it work? And did it work? Yes. The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing to see her smile again. You know, you probably could have used it on yourself and then like later on used it on her and you wouldn't have been fucked. But I'm sure that's a story for another day. About the disaster. I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now, Sir William. Then may I call you brother? Did you resist its poison? Even a scratch from a beast so evil could endanger you and all those you care for. Who was the one you defeated? You also defeated one in 1666. Who was it? She was a malicious witch who spread plague throughout the city with her army of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months when I finally found her. How did you defeat it? How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in St. Paul's Cathedral and burn the building down. I wanted to be sure she was destroyed. I am. All right, I'll be right back. Tell me about the blood of hate. The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. <laughs> Can we talk about vampires? I would like to ask you about vampires. Vampires? What about them? Considering your experience, please tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought many in my time. Foul temptresses with sharp claws and shrieking beaks. Never seen such a creature. I have never seen such a creature. What are you talking about? Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift, and implacable. Where did you encounter such creatures? 
Where did you encounter such creatures? The last time I saw one was in a Celtic temple near Salisbury. A terrible and godforsaken place full of ghosts and pestilence. This is crazy cool. Can we speak about the Morrigan? Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen. What of her? You met her, did you not? You met her, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. I love her song. It is a song of blood and war. I only wish she would sometimes let me rest. Do you know who she is? Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, she too could hear the red song. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. I feel like we've got some kind of Akasha scenario from Anne Rice, but maybe we'll learn more about it in the, the sequel to this game. Or the prequel that probably stars old Willie Marshall here, who knows. Tell me about Myrden. Do you remember Murden? Murden. Only God is my maker, for he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. How was Elizabeth infected? Tell me about Elizabeth. How was she infected? I do not wish to discuss it. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. How is it transmitted? After defeating the disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral, I returned to my retreat infected. This is where my sweet Elizabeth found me, for she heard my pain from across the sea. Where is this, where is that retreat? Where is this retreat you mentioned? In London, under Temple Church, beneath my empty tomb. I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell above. What happened then? What happened then? The blood of hate had twisted me into a rage-filled man. I attacked my progeny and infected her too. Forgive me, Elizabeth. I failed you. You bit her again? Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. Elizabeth fled, and I fell to my knees. Begging for forgiveness. I swore I would find a way to make things right. He's on the verge of tears. How did you meet Elizabeth? How did you meet Elizabeth? Times were tough. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family. Singing for her death to come. I chose to save her. When was that? When was that? <clears throat> it was so long ago. A few years after Elizabeth of England and Catherine of France established their alliance against Spain. What did you do next? What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. After she left to see the world, I rebuilt her deceased parents' inn. Owned it as William Thorne for a time. Those were good years. Sounds nice. You sacrificed yourself? Did you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me betray her. I am at peace here. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. Do you want to be cured? Do you not want to be cured? No. This Hunger is mine. I would feel empty without it. It has been part of me for so long. All I want is quiet. Silence. You agreed to be confined here? You agreed to be confined here then? Yes. 
Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. We could set you free. We could set you free. Let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Damn. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Yet. Farewell, Father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. That is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then, as long as we must until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to start the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. That's where you're wrong, Elizabeth. Since I murdered my poor Mary after my rebirth, I vowed to never take a life again, and I've succeeded. I'm not sure I have the strength of character. I'm not like William. I'm not like you. Let me teach you, then. Come with me, my love. Oh, Jonathan, if only this could be true. I really don't know. We'll run away. Go to the deepest forests, the highest mountains. Untouched by man, will hide in solitude until I find a cure. Do you trust me then? Until the end of the world, my love. I mean, all you have to do is not give your blood to anybody for unethical doctor's experiments. But whatever, my face cam may die. Battery's dead. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Child born from darkness whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe for you have prevailed. I wish you a peace duly earned for the centuries yet to come. And they will come. I bid thee farewell, my champion bittersweet. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. Sequel? Taste for blood. 
I did get not even once, which is a huge achievement for this game. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I have the coronavirus. I hope not. <laughs> I, I don't think I do. I just I just have bad post-nasal drip problems. It sucks. Anyways, what a game. Very amazing. Uh, oh, pretty much a soap opera of vampire awesomeness. Um, the writing was good. Uh, there are some holes like... There's some choices William Marshall could have made. Like, instead of, like, giving her the antidote, maybe he could have gave it to himself. But then again, maybe maybe he did it just because... Actually, I think he honestly did do it just because she was uncontrollable. He could control his self, but she couldn't control herself. So he had to, he had to save her before she could wreak any more havoc, which is probably exactly what happened and why he had to kill... Uh, whatever disaster it was, Disastro, Eater of Stars, or whatever, at the uh, St. Paul's Church to lock it up. That was probably, I don't remember if it was on him or if it was on his daughter. Then again, who knows? I mean, it doesn't even matter because basically he was like an unhealthy carrier. And she became an unhealthy carrier when he bit her after the tears of angels, uh, she became a healthy carrier so that's why we had to fight Harriet and then eventually the bloody embodiment the blood embodiment of the Red Queen for Murden. Murden saw it coming he knew it was gonna happen ever since uh, Ashbury let uh, Swansea take her blood samples and use them for unethical doctor scientific experiments and yeah and they, you know that's that's why you got to be careful you can unlock pandora's box and you might not never get the fucker shut again <laughs> so so really honestly this story was really good uh i really enjoyed it i especially love the part where you found dracula's novel um in uh, ashbury's house apparently her and bram stoker knew each other that was kind of cool so that should have uh told us right then and there how old she was but then again I mean it's about the same time wasn't it that that book was written I'm not sure I don't remember when that book was written I mean I have the book sitting right next to me uh, but I'm not going to look at it I actually do have it right next to me uh, yeah let me get it I guess I might as well it's a little dusty and super old but uh I have my stuff in it, some important papers and documents, and, you know, it's it's not, like, the the greatest cover art. It's, it's you know, paperback, but I don't know if it says when it was written. I do not know. It does not say so far. Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, well. If you guys know when uh, Dracula was written, please tell me. And tell me if it coincides with this game. Uh, I did not know that Ashbury was that old. That's crazy to think that she was that old. Like, literally. Dude. <sighs> freaking... Uh, William Marshall knew uh, King Richard and John Lionheart. That's crazy. That was back in Robin Hood times and stuff, you know. It's nuts. And, uh, I mean, he found Boadicea's uh, blood and King Richard's blood, and it's just... it. It's insane. He made a, he made the Tears of Angels vaccine, and it it was just a really cool little story about merging science with fiction. I guess I think that's what Don't Nod wanted to do. Besides, create a good love story too, because you know I mean, Reed and Ashbury have a good love story. I mean it it was it was not in the it wasn't the main part of the story. It wasn't the forefront. The forefront was the plague. Uh, the influenza, I mean, uh, and 
if they make a uh, if they make a uh, prequel, it should star William Marshall fighting, or the life of William Marshall through the years, meeting Ashbury or well Inglewood, Elizabeth, and there goes my face cam. It's all good though. It's all good. Uh, I am going to turn that off though. Um, but I guess there's not really much else to say. Uh, Anthony Howell did Jonathan Reed. I think he's been voicing a lot of games lately. Not for sure. Um, old Bridget Beatrice Romilly. Who did uh, Lady Ashbury? It doesn't really say. Oh yeah, Catherine Kingsley. She did Ashbury. Man, people did a lot of characters here. Ben Peel did McCullum. That was he was cool. Aloysius was David Stern. Wow. And they had motion capture. Awesome. Swansea? What? Swansea baby? <laughs> oh, these are actors by role, by their movements. Okay, the mocap people. Okay. Um really good science meets uh science fiction or science meets fantasy. Whatever, I don't know. Vampires science fiction or fantasy? I guess it's the same damn thing. Uh, fantasy in a way because you know I mean who doesn't want to live forever and who doesn't want to drink I mean I don't want to drink blood okay I well I almost went into a fucking weirdo spasm there <laughs> or people would probably think I'm some kind of serial killer no what I meant to say was living forever having super strength super speed never aging uh, it sounds like something you'd want to try or at least you'd want to live a fantasy of it by reading about it or watching a movie like Interview with a Vampire, reading the book, or, you know, anything like that. Like, being a vampire, it's like my favorite uh, fantasy monster or horror monster is the vampire. Ever since I saw uh, Dracula or played Castlevania uh, or seen uh, Interview with a Vampire movie, I've been like in love with vampires and all that. I, I hate to admit it, but I even watched Twilight and I don't, I didn't like it as much as I like the Anne Rice vampires because, you know, I, I like the fangs and the love story was a bit fucking ridiculous. Then the love triangle, all that shit. Yes, I did watch Twilight. I'm not going to say that it was the greatest thing I ever watched. It wasn't. <laughs> I don't want to end this with me saying I watched Twilight. Uh, anyways, Castlevania. Awesome game, right? Yeah. Uh, cool story, bro. Uh, I hope you watch Twilight again, you ass. Ha. Ha ha. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this was a really good game. Um, really happy that I played it. I hope they make a sequel about William Marshall. Or a prequel about William Marshall. If they do a sequel, make sure that it's about Jonathan Reed and it's about the actual rebirth of the Red Queen, and then we'll have us a good story, just to, a good backbone for a story, you know. They they did good with this, man. Don't nod. Good job. This is the first game I've ever played by Don't Nod, and I played it on my channel, and I played it blind, and I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play of Vampire. Oh, look. There it is. I'm Spectral Star. Oh, my Wamo. Kodoku. Trust me, for time is on our side. <sighs> that is a risk.